Tell what just happened. Seriously. What happened? What just happened? You'll be the life of the party. Hey folks, how you doing? Cat Morky, the kid and kid coach. She's outdoors. A lot of stuff going on in the intro, huh? You got striped bears, sea bears, shark, you know, whatever. All right, all right. So this is how we're gonna start off right now. I get a call from my boy, Captain Nick Pace, so for a real mayhem. He goes, bro, bro, who's on the do right here? I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. So Captain Nick was all jacked up on Mountain Dew. And he was hitting the tuna grounds like a maniac after he got that first big fish right there. All right. So what does the kid do? I'm like preparing the same thing, getting the crew together. I got club sword, Kenny and Andy. So we're going to go out there. We're going to run from Fire Island Inlet. We're going to run all the way west, drop a couple of baits. Our plan was to go get Bunker. But then instead what we did was we went to some bluefish. I know bluefish are great bluefin bait, especially a small bluefish right there. What we catch them with? That's what we use right there, a little poxy jig. That's right, RWA tackles, little epoxy jigs, all right? Check out the website right here. Go get those bad boys, because Albies are coming. I guarantee you 100%, and that's, that's a guarantee, 100% guarantee, that's crazy. If these Albies are here, 100% that these RWA epoxy jigs are gonna whack those Albies, no, no doubt about it, all right? So check out the website, go grab yourself at least a couple of those bad boys, all right? Pink, you know, I dig the pink color and stuff like that, but they also have sand deal colors and stuff like that. Those fish are, are really targeting our sand deals and stuff like that. I'm not going to go too crazy on that because that's not what we're doing here. But we use those jigs right now, as you can see. Andy, oh, kissing that thing like that. All right, he's over there. He's launching those things out. And we're picking up bluefish, all right? And we need those bluefish to load the live well to run west. So that's what we do. We go over there, there's a little competition between Andy and Club Soda about who's catching the most. I have to give, I hate to beat up Club Soda, he's going to take a couple of beatings this thing. What do you got, kid? I got a little fish. I'm not sure what was wrong with him, maybe he could have had a strained fallopian tube. I have no idea, all right? I don't ask, I don't tell, all right? But you're going to see that I'm going to make this minuscule, all right? No, we'll go to that right now. And then I'm going to show you something after that, all right? I got a lot of stuff going on in this video. And there may be a rant in there because I am absolutely sick to my stomach right now about something. I'll give you, I'm not gonna rain right now. I'm gonna follow along, all right? All right, so let's go to Club Show to Kenny right now. This is gonna be a minuscule piece of this video here because I don't want to beat him up to bed because I love Club Show to Kenny. I love Fisherman, he's a great fisherman, but sometimes you screw the pooch and it happens. Yeah. So let's go to this clip real quick. Real. Basically what happened was a cluster, all right? Had a fish on, we lost it very quickly. And that was the last bite we had that day. All right? Other problems happened there. I didn't want to get involved in that. You talk to two of the fishermen. Everybody's got a different technique. All right? I'm a simpleton. If I only use my own techniques, I think I probably could have picked off a bluefin. Oh, really? But I didn't. We listened to other people's stuff, and it just didn't work properly. All right? Shame on me. Very specific with the drop fish at 20 feet and 30 feet. It didn't happen like that. It's I'm not going to go on a tear here because I can go on a tear here. The kids spent a few like gang buses, run the Everglades west over to Jersey. I'm from Jersey. <laughs> the con was crazy strong out there. Are you from Jersey? <laughs> Love the con out there. Very gracious to the kid. They saw the preacher out there. A lot of shaking of these and a lot of stuff going over the radio. All positive, thank God. Uh... But uh, a lot of love out there for the Kitco Chiefs, and there's about a million gays of teachers going on out there. People are yelling at each other, and a couple of the cats out there would just say, Kid, tell them to shake it easy, all right? So everybody gets the, the, the flow of Kitco Chiefs. Shake it easy, all right? We're only fishing here, all right? So there we go. So we're out there. We have a bait well full of bluefish. No, yay big, perfect tuna baits. I get a call from Captain Nick. Yo, kid, kiss the dish, my moosh. You got any product on you? I go, come on, say hello. I give him a head and I give him a long lat. Next thing I see his boat coming at us. Yeah, this boat right here. What the heck? 
back to Scalera. Seriously, talk about being masculine. You're right thinking I'm on the tuna grounds. I'm looking good in my uh, 295 Everglades CC. Where do I get those bad boys? IslandYachtSales.com. I always throw my Island Yacht Sales in there, right? Why? Because that's where you get them, broski madoskis. All right, go over there. Check them out. Go over say, say, check. Kiss the thieves. Your kid keeps talking about Island Yacht Sales. Let's see, let's see what you got. All right, so what happens here? The Queen Mary comes over here. Keith is running, I don't even know what the heck it was. It was a quad Everglades. The thing's got to be $3 billion. It looked at my boat and threw up. As you can see, it's throwing up out the side of my boat. Just looking at my boat because it's like, it was like this compared to that boat. Right? So what we do is I have my little technique, a little uh, bunker uh, chump thing. I filled up with bluefish. I shot it over to my man over there, right? You have Frankie G over there on that boat on a job over in Connecticut. Hi, Dashing. To him, what we did is basically you take care of your people out there. I don't care who the hell it is, Johnny the Rag Hanger, whatever stranger, and you ask for bait, and you got bait. Give the guy bait for God's sake, all right? The guy's investing a lot of time and effort into this stuff. He runs out of bait, couldn't get bait, you take care of him. If you got it, you give, all right? It's all about love out there, all right? Take care of each other, don't curse at each other. It was crazy out there. I get the offshore bite. It's one of those things that kind of throws me off a little bit about fishing, the smack bombing going on out there. Everybody's got these crazy egos and shit like that. I, I, the kid don't have that stuff, right? Obviously, I got struggles tuna fishing, all right? Offshore, I do other things fairly well, but tuna fishing, bro, it's like a kick right in the beanbag with a steel tip boot. And dash. All right? But that's what happened. But we're segueing this into one of my main mooch con of the week. Who is it? It's my man, Parker. Right here. This kid's six years old, does canyon trips, 100 miles offshore with his dad, Keith. That's a picture of Keith and uh, Parker right there, right? Those are my peeps. I don't. All right. Fellow Everglades owners, but again, they masculine me with that boat, but I'll get over it. It's not a big deal. I love the preacher. Preachers made him more like Minta Rouge. I dash. So that's Parker right there, all right? Parker is. Many the mooch in this picture right here. He's all tightened up. He just gets the canyon, probably catches a nice Dorado there. How you doing? Looks like a female maker. You know, that's my uh, how you doing stuff. The next picture here on the right is Parker. Looks like he went through a six day bender right there, right? <laughs> but that's what it looks like when he comes back from the canyon. All right, the guy's beat up a little bit. I had the ocean. Parker, how you doing, kid? Welcome to Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors and congratulations for being this week's con shout out of the week. Yes, yeah, a little special effects. I had the ocean. Fuck, you want a little fire coming out of your ears? There you go, pal. All right, done. All right, so where are we going with this? Gosh, was I talking too much. So what I did this trip is, we did a couple of trips. We went out with Joey Tiles, little sea bass. We'll get to that. We also did, uh, we took the boys out sharking. We had the option of going out. We didn't make the run. We just always wanted to do some sharking. So what we did is we went to the Linda Wreck and the San Diego Wreck, all right, first. And then after we did that, we came in shore. And we fished uh, the beaches for a shark too, which was fun. We did. We got. We got. We got shark everywhere. Before I show Luke on his fish right here, I gotta show you this promo I did on Instagram. All right, on Instagram. I give them the nub right there. Censorship, some beast. They'll censor you for saying anything that uh, makes sense. But this is the promo with the boys. Check it out. It's pretty sweet. Go, 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 Charlie. This is your birthday. We gon' party like this is your birthday. We gon' sip a party like this is your birthday. And you know we don't. Bro, you know I love those freaking videos. Don't I have to do that? And I throw my actors in there. I'm sure the girls on the videos aren't very thrilled that they're in a Keiko Cheese Outdoors film, all right? They prefer to be in a Scorsese flick. But get over it, all right? The kid pays, you're in, now you're dosing, all right? You gotta put those things out there for the ladies. We love you, kid. Well, thank you very much, Princess. This guy's shy. He's got two female viewers, me and his mother. What? Ah, see that? Mrs. Kid's got to chime in. Bring it back to reality. Guess a day. Uh, let's get to the boys. Now hold up, are you? I said, how about just a, a real fish? I, I think I know exactly what it is, but I don't know if it... Really, really. What do you think? Uh, what do you think of this? <laughs> hey, right, right, watch that, right. Oh, we got a lot of action here. <laughs> yeah, go to the house! Oh, what is that? Oh, it might be a spinner. It could be a spinner. It's a big daddy. Where you got that trap? You got here? It's my phone. No, why'd you give me the play button? Oh, I have no idea what that is, to be honest. 
Voll gut. I was really pushing down hard. Bingo. Nice to dunk it. Nice to dunk. So there you have it right there. Luke spanking the fish right there. Who we got next right now? We got Travis, the genetic freak. Alright? I got one son who kills animals, fish like a maniac, and the other guy kills his opponent, alright? I'm putting this video up real quick of his highlights. He's gonna snap if I put this up there. This is Travis right now killing his rugby opponents. Guess what? Travis is not happy about me putting out KO, but get over it, kid. All right, I filmed it, I edited it, gave it the age. Highlight films, freaking rugby coaches are going nuts for that right now. How you doing, ladies? All right, so let's go to Trav right now. He's gonna catch a couple of fish right now. He gets them in like three seconds, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going around the Jersey side. Jersey side with the Jersey boy. Easy, easy, easy. Oh boy, yeah, yes, it. You're up already. Holy hat. That's what we got here. Oh, it's slow. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Look at the face you got. Yeah, baby. You got another glove, Matt? Yep. 12 feet of water. Right there. Good boy. Good boy. Good, 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 good. Good boy. There we go. Nicely done. What was that? Oh, God. A little brown. It looks like a black to be honest with you. Make it a spinner. Or a black spinner. It's fantastic. One of this. Try and go under that rod. Try. Under the rod? Try, once you get the rod, why don't you go get help him out with the rod? I need a leader. Nice trap. Here you go. Punch me right in the face. Who did? Did you have a punch in the face? Yeah. Yeah, once you look at all right. What is it? What's that happening? Is that feeling fresh? There you go, you can get that out easy. You gotta push down like heavy duty hard. Now push down really hard. Bro! There it is. That was a shit, shit, man. That was legit. Wow. That was, that was a good release there. Yeah. Up. Word up. That's fun to do. Alright, there you go, Matt. Nicely done with the old D hooker. Cars Customs. What is that? Well, here it is, ladies. This basically is totally fugazi technique right here. This is a short hold mop, basically, with, you know, push buttons. Alright, and what we did here was we got the, well, what I did was I got the gaff attachment to it. It comes with a gaff attachment, short hold wolf is that. And what I did is I had my boy Kaz right here. Kaz Customs, baby. Yeah, Kaz Customs, that's right. Basically what he did was, if I can do this, if I can show you this. Yeah. This right here was a gaff, you know, obviously. Came and did the hook on it, so you could use a short hole, could use a gaff. But what we did is we, I sent it out to Kaz, he straightened it out, did a little loop on it. So what that does, that loop goes now around that uh, monofilament, and you push down, 
this bad boy right here pushes that hook right out of the shark's mouth. I'd say probably 95% of the time, all right? So this is a little gizmo. I have a little backup tape here. We've used on many sharks and we've never lost the tip. That push button is still there. See it? Wah, wah. And what we do is we tape around it. You can't get that off if you try. You can make it longer if you want to stay away from the shark. You can make it even longer if you want. That thing is really long, right? But we seem to use it as the second to shore the setting. That's what we do. It gets us right on top of that fish, blast that hook right out of the mouth. We like to uh, send our fish away with no jewelry in their mouth. At least we do it, our best to do it. But on that note, don't be crazy and don't be dangerous about it, all right? If you can't get that hook out of that thing's mouth seated, if it's inside the hook, is inside its mouth, just take a knife, cut that bad boy away and get let it go, all right? We're using monofilament when we use our shark rigs, all right? They're called the Reaper rig. I copied those rigs. I can copy them. I did copy them. Of course I copied them. When you copy something, it's a form of flattery. It means you're doing something right. That's what we did. We copied the Reaper rig. Go to Reaper Fishing if you want to check out that shark rig. It's pretty cool. Um, oh, by the way, I want to show you this also. Those are them. I, I know I didn't have a good picture of them, but these are the ones I'm talking about with the Albies. Those are the uh, RWAs, all right? This one I dig a lot, but this is the one Andy was using. And, you know, it kind of mimics a sand deal, spearing. That's what they're spitting out. So uh, go get these bits. I'm telling you, this is going to be dynamite on the Albies. If you're an Albie freak, that is, all right? And Albies are fun, bro. Light tackle, small baits. How you doing? Ripping through the water column. Set them up. How you doing? I prefer the single hook. RWA offers both single and treble. All right, so that was Matt right there on his uh, de-hooking techniques. But let's see if you can hook them. All right, Matt, take it away, kid. Get an ID on this fish. Okay, so Matt is on a fish right now. <laughs> is that felt around me, kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's showing the gun, so. Luke, when you're ready, can you come over here? What is that from happening? A whole lot of violence. <laughs> you got a whole lot of love going on. He's gonna go when he sees the ball. Really? Yeah. Second like another turn. He's gonna come forward. Start walking forward. Forward, 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 forward. There you go. There you go, Holy <laughs> Hunter? Forward, forward, forward. Hunter. You gotta go around. Left. All the way around, Trap. All the way around. All the way around. Max. I would chase this fish, man, but it's a brown shark, so we're not gonna start the boat. We're gonna keep the slick going. He's gonna go again. He's gonna go. He's gonna go. He's gonna go. Push it out. Push it right out. Push it right out. That's it. Perfect. Jack, just keep the rod in your hand. Let's stay with you, man. Nice. So, hmm. Trap, why don't you lay that in front? I'm gonna de-hook. Half. Watch, watch, watch. He's up on the drag. He's up on the drag. All right, hold on. Let's just point this at the uh, token direct. About halfway direct. Yeah, you're gonna go in. Bring him up. I got him locked. We got a deep. We got a deep. Right? Mm. Is the hook on the outside? No. no. All right, we're gonna cut Not right, plays, play is. You know the kid right now. I dig Ling. All right, they're probably quite the ugliest fish I've ever seen, but they're delicious. They're really good eating fish. They're small fish, not a massive uh, fillet as you can see here. They're not massive, but they're gonna do. We wound up picking off like 30 Ling. We had two dinners out of that, and we uh, also fed our neighbors. All right, that's the way we roll. All right, We're like Robin Hood, bro. We try to take care of our neighbors. I'm sure you guys do the same. All right, I'm not splitting the atom. Told the boys, let's go back to San Diego. Let's bottom and fish there. We had squid and stuff like that. Hunter was doing some chicken, and uh, let's pick up some ling so we go home with something to eat at least. All right. Who's gonna be the first one here? What the hell? When the phone lings, you pick up. That's it. Homie. I'm gonna say. I got all the ling ponds going. I'm gonna say. Uh oh, it's Hunter on now. I have a feeling Travis is gonna be the one. 
Who will be the first one to ling up? Hunter, Transom, Matt, Luke to ling. Traptastic. Spawn the Reaper. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Let's go. He's Ling Boy. It's pretty big, yeah. Good fish, kid. Come on, man. Yeah, it might be a, uh, might not be a Ling. Oh yeah. Who knows? <laughs> might be a crawfish. So you think he got crawfish? <laughs> what is? Oh, he left. It gave up, whatever it was. No, he's going, just went to uh, Walt Disney right now. Had to say hello to Davey. <laughs> Davey, Davey, Jones. Davey just he's in Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> oh, we're linked. Uh, we're, oh, everybody's hooked up. Everybody's hooked up. Oh, he's in Davy Jones' locker. Oh, yeah, he's Ling Boy. That's oh, that's awesome. Oh, I see this. Oh, oh. Just like a hook kit. These guys going. He's got a keeper now. Nice. Sure. Yeah. Look at the gills, it's like yellow. Yeah. There's a wrong. Sea bass. Nice ling on that. That's a nice one. That's gonna go bye bye. And that guy's gonna stay. Take care of him. Isn't that good? You got it? You gotta go. Matt, you overacting? Crazy head shakes on this one. What is it? What is it? see bears? Alright, so here's the little ling right now. Poached and butter. A little old base seasoning on it. That's it. That's one way to cook it. The other way right here is a little uh, egg wash, breadcrumbs, fried in olive oil. How you doing, ladies? And then we have Traff here with his favorite catch of the day. What is it? What do you got, kid? What do I got? Right now we got a squid. Eating its own kind. Yeah, yeah. It is. It's freaking eating its own kind. Yeah. What's up with that? Yeah, right. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, what a freaking nut that kid is. All right, so there we go. That's a little South Shore action. Now what we're going to do, we're shifting up north. That's the direction north, right? On this video, at least. And who's up there? We're out there with Joey Tile, Seasons, and Jesse. All right? Let's go up there and see what's happening on the North Shore. Tiles, what's going on? Hey, we're going to do a little sea bass fishing with the captain. Captain Mark. Love him. got your hand there. This is the best five grand that I ever spent. <laughs> and that goes to that young lady right there. Any other boat I get, it has to be Rodanable. If it ain't Rodanable, no bueno. I'll put twins on this thing. Twin 300s. I'll be doing prop stands. <laughs> don't care. You want to know why I don't care? This is why. <laughs> oh, he's going for Stellas. It. Oh boy. I love him. That's his first one. On his third one, he'll be speaking Portuguese. All right, folks, so there you have it. Captain Joey Tiles today. What are we doing? We're out in the middle of Long Island Sound. We're doing a little sea bass fishing, right? That is probably the primo fish that we have to eat on the Long Island Sound. People say striped bass. People say fluke. No! Sea bass, all right? They're not the biggest fish, but they're the best fish to eat, in my opinion, all right? That's all this, my opinion right now. So, we're out here. Let's say hello to the crew. You just saw Captain uh, Jack right there. Let's go over to my man Chris. Come over here, kid. We're gonna go. We're gonna go round two on that thing. Everybody recognizes season, right? This guy's Hello, got more, everybody. He's got more moves than a chess game. Today we're gonna go get some sea bass, and I know by the end of the day, I'm gonna kick some f***ing sea bass ass. <laughs> Oh, I will leave out the first bump. I'm gonna leave that whole thing in there. He's got a potty mouth. All right, now we're gonna go over Jess. Jess is running the deck right now. He's gonna be our deck boss, it looks like. What do you got, kid? All right, just cutting some clam here. Getting ready for another sleigh fest. Oh my God. Killed him two days ago. Did you? Yeah. Were you chicken or were you just uh... A little bit of both, mostly bait, but bigger fish were on the jig. That's what we got. The kid's got a jig ready to go. And we'll go see the gear right now. Chris, you pass my trunks, please, kid? Yes. Go show him the first jig right there. That's our first rig right there. The kid's gonna be using. She's the tracks. Nexus rod from Jig World. And the Wang jig right there. Got the Wang jig with the hooks on the bottom. You can go to the top. And the other guy up there is the Accurate. Chris, if you don't mind, the Accurate. Talk to him. Accurate. Top left. Here you go. That's the other one. And here's my bread and butter right here. That's my bread and butter. 300 narrow, accurate, Phoenix rod, 
We're five feet away, guys. Pounds. This is a blackfish. This is a blackfish. Okay, guys, Daddy did, I right show you some, did I show you bling? Yeah. I got Rodan bling, baby. Look at that. Hell yeah. Unbelievable. I love it. I love it. Number one, you got it. It's a must on the water. No this is a must. Without this, you're doomed. It's over. I bought him. A fish. That's a good one. I can't even. Uh, is that a halibut? This might be net worthy, Rico. And I usually don't call for a net, bro. How about a double header 28 fish? Oh, that could be it. Oh, you're not going to be in time, kid. I'll have to flip it. Oh, it's just a good fish. That's a good fish. Those are the fish you should catch before the CMS opens. Yeah. Yeah, right. exactly. And then when it opens for us, they're all fucking little. Nice fish. Mama. Another nice one. Great fish. Good picking. Wow, it's big today. It's a big fish. Yeah. One that? Ah. Love on fishing. Love it. My favorite on an ugly stick. I love it. Every fish is like a big fish on that stick. It's a halibut? What is this? <laughs> That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, That's a good fish. You got a good fish there, though, kid. You know, it's on a Smithtown high low rig. You know the deal. No, I don't think he's netable, but it's not bad. So there you have it. There's Joey Tiles North Shore. This video is so damn long, I can't even get my rant in here, alright? You probably snapped right now. Kids, you're not doing the rant? I'm going fishing tomorrow morning. Bluefin tuna in the ocean. There will be a rant involved in that video, okay? I apologize. This is just too long. But my whole crux of this whole rant thing is, is just that this country's upside down. I mean, the stupidity is, is off the charts. In my whole life, I've never seen anything like this, alright? Let's talk about a, a five-year-old kid, alright? A five-year-old kid. And you tell a kid, hey, young man or young lady, there's a room right over there. It's a very small, it's a small room. One door one in, one door out. In that room, hanging up in the top corner is a hornet's nest full of killer hornets that will kill you. Also in that room is a bunch of your friends and all of your toys. And those hornets up in the corner right there, they go to sleep at night in their nest, okay? What do you think the five-year-old would do? Oh, yeah. And, and all of your other friends are saying that don't leave those toys there. All of your, your own friends, not my friends, but your friends are telling you, don't leave those toys there. That's not a good idea. What's the kid do? So a five-year-old kid can make this decision. I'll go in there at night. I'll get all my friends out, all my toys out, and that's it. And close the door and I'm out of there. 
right? Makes sense, right? Makes sense to me. Well, this weekend at Bernie's too, gets up at 12 o'clock with Dr. Giggles here because God knows where the hell she is. <laughs> She's doing a heck of a job on the border. But uh, Dr. Giggles, what's he do? He goes in there about 12 noon with a baseball bat. Everybody's in there, all the toys are in there, all the friends are in there, and he whacks the hornet's nest with a baseball bat in broad daylight. What happens? Those hornets now are killing his friends. Does that make any sense? No. Nobody would do something so stupid, right? No. That's impossible that somebody could be that dumb to do that, right? Leave, your, leave all your toys over there because the Afghans will take care of you. You're really a freaking mind. When all of your own people are telling you, bro, not a good idea. Get that stuff out of there. It's going to be used against us. Now what's going to happen? I feel horrible for the military in our country right now. To have to deal with these animals again and now get killed with our own weapons. These people, these savages, these Taliban savages are out there right now in U.S. military gear going home to home looking for Christians. Yeah, Christians to kill without weapons. Those weapons now are going to be used against our soldiers because of stupidity. You cannot make this up. I don't care. This is not a left or right issue here. I'm ranting. So, so much for my freaking rant, right? I think I didn't think I was going to rant. This is not a left or right issue here. This is, a, this is just common sense. I mean, for goodness sakes, common sense. It's amazing, all right? And I feel horrible. I'm, I'm, I'm sick to my stomach about it. I'm sure every military person in the world is sick to their stomach about what the decisions that were made by this guy. I mean, it is amazing. The, and you have this buffoon right here who's a sellout, wants to be, you know, general of the world, and he'll sell his soul for it. And what's he worried about? White supremacy is the worst thing in the country? Are you out of your freaking mind? Are you out of your mind? White Supreme? How about you go over there and you deal with all the Americans that you guys left behind who are being savagely killed? And the women over there who are being... I don't even want to tell you what's happening to them. And these other animals in our U.S. gear going down, hunting down Christians. Because they're Christian. And they believe in Jesus Christ. Are you freaking out of your mind? The devil is in you. That's it's what drives me nuts, right? It's just so sad. It's sickening. And I just can't believe it. To, to say that, you know, this buffoon, again, I'm going to point this guy, thinking that white supremacy is the, is the evil of, in that country. I personally, I'm a man of faith. I don't know one freaking person, I can swear in a stack of Bibles right now, who's a white supremacist. I mean, I guarantee 99% of you people watching this video right now are saying, hey, do I have a white supremacist in my life? Hell no. You out of your mind? Are there, are there a clique of, of like animal white supremacists? Yeah, they are. What am I, you growing up in a bubble here? But to think that that is number one issue in the country? White supremacy? Don't make me get me started with this vaccine nonsense that he's trying to push on everybody. You know, follow the science. Who's science? Your science, Jack Job? Why don't you listen to all the other scientists? Put masks on kids. You want to make me sick. I implore everybody out there, just stand up. I mean, I sound like a psycho here. Yeah? But stand up for what's right. Don't be silent anymore. Go to your school board and tell these people critical race theory is a joke. Stop putting masks on my kids. Critical race theory. Yeah, let me let me teach my kids. Here's a perfect example. Somebody tells me, says my, my videos are embarrassing. You know, this, this is a white privileged little kid. Grew up on a beach. You know, is going to tell me who's been, has more experience in, in minority neighborhoods than, than this person who's got zero experience in life. But what's this person who wakes up and like, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Hey, uh, Sammy and Jess and Jennifer, uh, I'm going to go to Starbucks and I'm going to grab a cafe latte and check this out. I'm going to go on social media. I'm going to go on my Snapchat account or I'm going to go on my Instagram account. And you're not going to please. I'm going to go Instagram a black square on my on my Instagram, like I'm for black power. After I have my coffee, my cafe latte, I'm gonna have uh, that mommy and daddy uh, bought me. I'm gonna go out there and tweet out the black box in my Instagram account for, you know, BLM, because I'm totally woke, I get it. Yeah, I know a lot about the black community, you know. I do so much for it, I've done zits for it, but I'm gonna just be a social warrior right now. And, oh my gosh, there I go, I just did it. I am so feel good about myself right now. Who's, who's embarrassing? You don't think that's embarrassing? Well, you know what? Let me, uh, you know, next Tuesday, after I go to uh, the beach and my, you know, um, my little white privileged life, uh, I'm going to go over and tweet something about LBGTYN. Ah, whatever the heck it is. Whatever. I'm going to say, if you play for both teams, you can't lose. Great. That's brilliant. You play for both teams, you just can't lose, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant.
And I'm the guy, I'm embarrassing. Yeah, okay. These, these, these woke people are just so bad. That is when, that's embarrassing, all right? That's my tear. You have people who think they're educated. Uh, but, I, but I read a book. I read this in a book that this shouldn't happen. <laughs> well, stop reading real books. I don't know what the hell to tell you. You know, there's nothing worse than, uh, I got a master's degree. I got a master's degree. And, yeah. and what have you done with it? You know? I got a master's degree in common sense, all right? I have a couple houses, boats, everywhere, cars, properties. And, and yeah, I, got, I got lots of going on. You know what I mean? I have a master's degree in capitalism. Ameri I, have a, I have a master's degree in America, all right? I freaking believe in America. To say it's a white supremacy freaking country, you're out of your mind. It's the greatest country in the world. And what we do, we just made a fool of ourselves on the world platform. We stranded all of our Americans over there. We gave the savage animals all of our gear. I mean, I'm going to throw up about that. I mean, I can guarantee you that... Those, those weapons right now will be used against our freaking brothers, our sisters, you s it, it makes me sick. Here's another rant for you right now. The southern border. You got Dr. Giggles, who's never nowhere to be found. Where's she going to be? I, I don't think I've ever even seen this woman. The world is crumbling, and this buffoon, Dr. Giggles, is laughing about Afghanistan. She's laughing about uh, the southern border, where they're, bringing, where they're bringing in tons of fentanyl because they, they don't give a rat's ass. People from Mexico on their iPhones walking through needy border. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I got a Biden shirt. Can I come in? Yeah, come on in. Yeah, but if I'm Cuban, I'm going to... Uh, the, the, the government's going to shoot down your raft and send you back to Cuba? You come from Mexico? Come on in, get in here, get that, jump over, jump over the phone, yeah, bring your kids, bring your family, bring everybody, bring your iPhones, bring everybody. But if you're a Cuban, we're going to send you back and we'll, you know, are you, you for, what's the logic there, right? That just right there goes to show you how disgusting this is. If you're Cuban and you're trying to leave communism, which is horrific, obviously, it's been failure, you know, again, you people with your master's degree, read freaking history, communism, socialism, this doesn't work. But who am I to tell you? You know, because you're brilliant. Yeah, I live in my uh, mommy's basement now. I got a master's degree. Yeah, yeah, great. That's really working out for you. That's the hypocrisy of this whole thing. If you're Cuban, shoot their rafts, send them back to Cuba. If you if you uh, if you're from Mexico, get the hell in here. No, no, bring the fentanyl with you. Don't worry about anything. Bring that fentanyl now is going to kill somebody you know. I'm telling you for a freaking fact because I, you know what? Because I've no, I know this stuff because I walk the walk. I'm not a little kid who's growing up on the beach, white privileged kid who's going to tell me how it is, all right? Now, I happen to do 28 years in the business, in the police business, dealing with people from the border coming and killing Americans, all right? That, yeah, that's, that's factual. I've been in their homes. Have you? No, I don't think so. Nah. No, but you've been to Starbucks, and you got, you got an Instagram account, and you could tweet a black box. You're socially woke. Oh, wow. You're, you know, I'm, yeah, that's not, that's not embarrassing. Yeah, that, you're really making a difference out there. You must like you must be like be able to go to bed with a freaking clear head, huh? Wow. Oh yeah, nice. How you doing? Yeah, woke. Yeah, woke is working real well for you. Yeah, that's that's a uh, brilliant. I mean, you guys may freaking dislike Trump or whatever, and I don't care. Like I said, this is not a left or a right thing. I don't give a rat's ass who you voted for. It's pretty clear who I voted for. All right, but this is a common sense thing. If you people, and I know a lot of you people on the left who watch this thing, I don't care if you like it or not. If you don't, please do me a favor, unsubscribe because I couldn't, it doesn't make a difference to me. As you can clearly see, I don't care. You know, like I said, uh, this one, you, you, that's your video is embarrassing. My video is embarrassing. I don't get right. You think I'm embarrassed? Do you think that hurts my feelings? Do you think, oh shoot, somebody just said my stuff's embarrassing. You know what's embarrassing is being fake, woke BS and not doing the damn thing about it. That's a joke. That's embarrassing. We're thinking that, oh, oh geez, he just tweeted, oh, uh, LBGDA, hey, I put a rainbow in my Snapchat account. Oh, get out of here. What a joke. That's a complete joke. Don't tell me how it is. But I read another book. Read another book. You're reading the wrong books. Joke. All right, so that's my rant right now. You know, I can go on to this other stuff with these masks and stuff like that. This this toolbox wants us to mask everybody, mask a little baby and this stuff. Like, get out of here. What a joke. Yeah, you got this jack jug dancing in the park. This other buffoon with no mask on. You have AOC. Oh, hey, everybody. We're hanging out. No mask. Oh, they're going to take a picture. Put your mask on. I mean, what are we? Are we buffoons? Are we fools here? Pelosi. Oh, yeah, wear a mask. This, is, this COVID thing's real serious business. Oh, you sit at the Last Supper. Every nobody's got mask on, and you and you stand up there like you're freaking Queen uh, Queen Mary. Freak out of here. Are we fools here? Do you think the American people are fools? 
You don't think they see this hypocrisy, the stupidity that you're doing here? Hey, by the way, these rants right here, which I didn't think I was going to be doing a rant, are my rants, not any sponsors' rants. So if you have a problem with that, rants, you got more problems than you think you got, all right? All right, so there you go. I'm a, I'm a complete disaster right now, all right? I'm ranting like I, I could get, I could just go bananas on this whole freaking thing here. But that's going to stop this rant right now. I know a bunch of guys on the Bluefish Grounds wanted that rant. So freaking, you guys had it, all right? You guys made me rant, you maniacs. I go vault. YouTube's already screwing me. I don't care. Get over it. I don't apologize to anybody for being a true American, a patriot who loves this country and knows this country is the best country on the planet. However, our, what's happening right now with our country, the decisions being made are freaking disgusting. I want to throw up. And, and, and to have a, a president who doesn't even engage the, the people. I mean, this is bizarre. I've never ever in my life seen anything like this. The vice president, Dr. Giggles, is a disgrace to this country, all right? You just can't make this stuff up. It's... It... Don't mind me starting on Obama, too, all right? Yeah. Right, let me give you two seconds on Obama. Obama was the greatest guy in the world. The guy was a smooth, rico, suave guy. He was a horrendous president. He did nothing, nothing for black Americans. Nothing. What did he do? He had this much money? And now he has this much money. What, he's got an $18 million house? He had a party at? No mask, whatever, crap, cares, whatever. We get that it's fake. You know, you guys are, do as I say, not as I do, people. I get that. But that guy did a money grab on you like you can't imagine, all right? But the other guy, the guy over here behind me, Mr. Donald Trump, President Donald Trump, number 45, the guy was wealthy as hell. He didn't do this to make money like the Bidens and, and Obama. Rip, take all your money. I mean, this guy, these guys are multi, multi millionaires because of people like you. Oh, 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 he's cool, man. He shot a basket. He just shot a basket. That guy's cool. He's the president of the United States. How about you do something for the country and the black America? All right, who you swear is taken care of. I'm going to go one more freaking rant. This is the longest rant. Oh, my goodness gracious. But it just it just goes to show you how bad this is when you when you talk about critical race theory how they're trying to teach us and the kids oh my god it's probably one of the worst things you could ever do in the schools right now to treat is to teach critical race theory to kids all right to say that hey you're never going to be anything you're oppressed and and there, there were so many great black americans that were doing speeches and stuff and i don't want to copyright them and stuff like that but there were so many you just google them they're freaking really inspiring black men now this man like i was totally inspired by this guy that's why i know that there are so many great people out there, black Americans, that have just, just had enough of this nonsense of oppressing us and stuff like that. It's critical race theory. It's such nonsense. And this goes to show you what critical race theory is. It, it basically basically tells white people, hey, you're a freaking racist. You, you, you just, they just cut your umbilical cord two seconds ago? Bro, or well, you little girl, little boy, you're a savage racist American. Bah. Oh, there's a black kid's umbilical cord? Yeah, don't worry about it. You're not going to be anything. Don't worry. But the government will give you a couple bucks and you can go buy something with a couple bucks. This is a fa this is my life experience right now. Right? Everybody knows I'm a retired homicide detective. We catch a body, right? Black guy gets killed. We get there and we start, you know, we're doing the homicide stuff. Homicide, step aside. You get the whole deal, right? But we get there and it's a male black gets killed. Vic, uh, the Vic was male black and the player was a bad this male black and we get there and we do our thing everybody you know get this guy talk to this guy talk to that guy we go talk to one girl we get in the house and and they're living in this subsidized housing stuff like that paid by the government no big deal hey this should happen i get that i get that people do need it but my point is i'll get to my point we this is during the obama time and again the only thing good about obama is the homicide rate was off the charts with him and that's not a good thing. I shouldn't even say that, right? But I, so we get to this one, this one female black. She says, "Hey, hey. I go, how you doing?" And blah blah blah. I introduce myself, she's, and she started talking about Obama. She's like, she goes, "Yeah, I'm voting for Obama again." I go, "Why is that?" He goes, "Cause he gave us a phone, a cell phone." When she said, "I'm voting for him because he's giving me a cell phone," that freaking hit me in the chest like a freaking sledgehammer. I go, "How f sad is that? How sad is that? That that is what I mean. I, I can't explain it." The sad part about it, she could literally walk across the street and there's, you know, for, uh, help wanted ads. Is she going to get the job? Who knows? But if you go over there and you try, you know, you just say, hey, I can go over there. I can work over there. Like I said back in a couple of videos ago, when I was a little kid, I washed dishes for the pizza place. 
And at the end of the day, he gave me money. I was like, oh man, I got money. Look at this, it's like crazy. I was never so proud to hear my mother say, yeah, Mark's at work. Like, it was just one of those things. Like, I was a kid and I'm like, yeah, there you go. I, so I worked. The same thing can happen to anybody. You work, you get paid. Then you can go buy a cell phone. You work a lot, you can buy more. You work even more, then you, you, you develop a sense of pride. It, it, it's just, it's just, it's such a good trajectory. But what happens is when these people from the left want to push you down and make you not work and rely on them and say, you can't, you can't do for yourself. You can't do anything for yourself. Just let us give you the bare minimum and we'll got you covered. We'll give you a cell phone. Hey, bro, I'll give you a cell phone. Just vote for us, all right? Well, we rob and pillage the, the government. You know, like, like, like when, when, when my son, who's smoking crack, prostitutes and all this other stuff and getting paid for half a million dollars for art and getting paid by the Chinese government and the Russian government. These are facts. I mean, these are facts that nobody ever wants to talk about. These are facts. I mean, could you imagine the Trump kids being caught like that? <laughs> it would be off the chart. Do you know how sanitized the Trump kids, that family, how sanitized that family is? You may not like Donald Trump for being an alpha male. Hey, alpha males are, is, alpha males are extremely important in this world. Trust me. Every freaking homicide guy is an alpha male. You gotta be, alright? You go through, you see the worst of the worst. You better be an alpha male. But your president should be an alpha male, alright? Maybe you get, you know, offended by it. Get over it. Is he doing anything in your family? The only thing he's doing is helping, alright? But I, I, I just, uh, I'm going on a tear here. I'm completely losing it. I told you I was gonna rant, right? You mama jammers over there. <laughs> Who's you guys? I don't even know who it was. Guys on the air when I was on channel 68 in the ocean telling me to go rant. There's your rant. I, I don't even know how to end this. All right? You know how I end this? I blow this shiitake up.